What's going on, everyone? Excuse me while I chew on some snacks. Um, this YouTube crisis, right? This YouTube crisis that people are talking about. It's funny, um, And this is kind of true. I, I I have to say this. You know, I'm I'm very new in the whole YouTube creator channel business. So this is just my two cents that I'm offering, right? I barely have. Excuse me. I bet I don't I mean my subscribership is very low <laughs> my viewership is even is low too and so you know many people are gonna wonder who am I to talk right well that's fine I'm just doing something that uh, a close a close um you know person in my life told me I should do and I've been doing it and that's it. So, YouTube crisis. Now, if you're a successful YouTuber, more power to you. I'm not a jealous person, okay? I don't I don't live off the premise of being envious and jealous. I don't believe or subscribe to those types of characteristics, you know? If you're if you're a jealous, mean-spirited envious evil-hearted person you 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 just not someone who I associate with because I don't carry those types of qualities within myself okay I don't I don't subscribe to those ideas I don't believe in every day waking up and feeling less than because someone else has more than you in fact that should empower you that should inspire you that should actually motivate you and help you become more ambitious so that you can do better and achieve more in your life. If you're a YouTuber, right, and your subscribership or ad revenue, AdSense revenue dropped down considerably, like they're saying, you know, from, you know, people are saying 80, 85, upwards of 90% drop from what you've normally been getting, then that's, you know, use that as an opportunity to say, you know what, nothing in life is permanent, nothing is forever. So have other means in place so that you can be able to generate some type of revenue. It's a learning lesson. It's a learning experience. And once again, too, YouTube is a platform that advertisers need to reach certain target populations, right? So this is not something that's going to last a long time. Like it's not, I don't believe it's going to last forever where people just won't be able to generate any type of revenue off of YouTube because of the boycott you know from these corporations you know these corporations are, are are paying millions and millions of dollars to reach youtube because youtube is a very well known platform it's one of the most watched platforms that's out on the internet right now so the companies don't want to lose that target audience they want to be able to reach they want to be able to market they want to be able to show ads they want to be able to touch the people to show the products that they have the services that they offer in other words this is not forever it's not it's not forever but in the meantime develop other ways and other means you know to generate revenue some people live off youtube i'm not hating on that you know again if this was your business and 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 you know you're suffering tremendously that's a huge hit it's a big time hardship but it's it's also a time for you to you know kind of like go to the drawing board go back to the drawing board and and think of other ways to make to to generate money to to you know have other streams of income coming in you know i mean you don't have to agree with what i'm saying and also you know you have channels creators you know i guess you know when you if you've been depending on this as your sole income i get it all of a sudden you know your your revenue has dropped by 80 percent even 50 percent 
Or I can imagine 80, 85, and 90%. It's terrifying, right? So now people have been talking about, you know, uh, subscribing, well, asking their viewers to um, donate, you know, to their PayPals and Patreons and GoFundMes, crowdfunding and, and things of that nature. That's cool. That's cool. But it, don't complain when the people don't subscribe. Because if they're not sus subscribing, it's for a reason. You can't force people to give you money. You might have to improve whatever it is that you're doing. You know? I mean, I'm. it is what it is. Sometimes you click on a, you know, I'll subscribe to a channel for whatever reason because I like the, the, the material that I saw on the video. And then might not go back to the channel for years it's not because I'm, I'm you know I'm hating on the channel I'm still subscribed I just you know life happens or whatever things like that happen you might have up, how many you know a, a bunch of subscribers who just don't frequent your channel all of the time you know and that's not in every case that's just one example you know but the material has to be good your quality of content has to be up to par it has to be entertaining it has to just be good it has to be good, you know, and, and not, and you also have to not be afraid to put in that work. I mean, if you're making videos and you're putting in, you, you are putting in that work, but what is it that's separating you from everyone else? That's what you got to think about. What is it that's making you different? That's separate, separating you from the fold. How was your material original? Keep it, keep it, keep it true to yourself and whatever it is you're doing and focus on that. The, you know, the money's going to come. The money's going to come. Have a little faith in yourself. Have a little faith in, in what you're doing. And everything else should fall into place. You were When you were making the money, right? When you were making the money, when everything was cool, before this YouTube apocalypse, uh, YouTube crisis that people are calling this whole YouTube fiasco to be, before when the checks were coming in, everything was cool, right? Everything was fine. I didn't hear many people talking about you're not subscribing to my channel. When you were collecting those YouTube checks from Google or, or whomever, I didn't hear a lot of people like really stressing about, you know, you know, donate to my GoFundMe and, 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 and my PayPal, you know, and, and, and things of that nature. I didn't hear that going on for, I mean, what? Because everything was good. So you need to be prepared for when things are good and just as well when things are not as good. Like now, nah, for many people, you know? Have other streams, have, have other means. Don't just depend on one stream because this is a hard lesson for many to learn. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And, and, and you know, be original, be creative, be entertaining. If you're not good, you're not good. But try to be better because you still have some type of viewership. I'm not the best at all and I, you know, it is what it is. I really, I'm not in this to be all know all famous and for an incredible amount of notoriety i think this is just a fun thing to do i love to talk on certain subjects and 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 to share my thoughts on certain things and why not use youtube as a platform to do that why not why not whether the money comes i'm not gonna cry whether the money doesn't come i'm not gonna cry you know if it comes and it doesn't come i'm not crying because i'm not doing this just for that because looking now there's no there's no means i just started I just started. I'm not looking to get rich off of this. Some are. That's your choice. But I know the reality. I know what, what's going on with me. And I'm, I'm aware. Having some type of self-awareness and being aware of what's taking place is key. It's key. If your material is, is, is subpar and it's not the greatest, it's not good at all, improve it. But if you're begging people to give you money and you're not seeing that subscribership, you know, the folks, you know, donating to your PayPal and Patreon... And, and, and things of that nature it's not working out for you you gotta look at what you're doing and you're comparing your viewers your viewers you know if, when folks compare it's almost like you're counting the pockets of others in, 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 in the urban in the urban communities people talk about counting you know don't count another person's pockets but folks are quick to do that they'll jump on someone else's page and say listen this, this is what's going on on this channel you're not doing this for me, but look at what you're doing for someone else. That's not fair. No, maybe the other person's content is better. That's all I'm saying. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Be well.